Hello everybody, this is Tech Cut. In this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to make it so you will not need to ever enter in a password on your computer or type in the pin on. Restart login if the computer goes to sleep or hibernates. You might want this because your computer's at home, you have no fear of anybody getting into it, and you just find it redundant and an unnecessary security precaution. So, getting started, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into the sign-in options here. Uh, scroll down, require sign in. Now, if you select never here, this will still make you enter in a password pin or whatever if your computer restarts or you shut it down and turn it back on. But what this will do is if your computer goes into hibernation or you just close your laptop, for example, and open it back up, you will not need to enter in the password again. Now, to make it so that you don't need to enter the password and your computer restarts, you're going to want to open up the run dialog. So to do this, you're going to hold down your Windows key and press R and what that will do is it will open up this run dialog alternatively you can um, search for this just by going to search typing in run and opening up the run app there so once you have this I already have it typed in here because I was kind of playing with this earlier you're gonna want to type in N E T P L W I Z hit OK and then that will bring this up, the user account. It's more of an advanced setting. I'm pretty sure this is accessible through the old school control panel, but this is one way to get to it. So users must enter a username and password to use this computer. We're gonna uncheck this box. And then once we hit apply, it's going to bring this up. So this is a one-time login. You're gonna need to confirm your password in order to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and type mine in. Hit okay and then hit OK. And now when you restart your computer, it should just automatically log into this user. Now I will know if you do have other users on the computer, it will automatically log in to obviously the account that you set to do that. So just a little precaution to take. If this video has helped you out in any sort of way, be sure to hit that like button. Please leave a comment with any concerns or anything else you'd really like to say and do not forget to subscribe. Have a great day and goodbye. Boom, boom, boom.